In the beginning, there was Ewan's Bar and Grill. Ewan created the mood lighting, created the beer cellar, created a lounge in the games room. He separated the soft drinks from the hard ones and the hard ones from the soft. He created a reasonably priced lunchtime menu and saw that it was good. And then Ewan said, let no one smile unless someone else has smiled first. And upon his command, it was so. Ewan created two barmen in his own image. The lesser one, Alistair, to rule the day, and the larger one, Jim, to rule the night. And the customers only ever paid cash, and the TV only ever showed horse racing, and no one touched the dogs. And then Ewan said, let there be wanted criminals racking up extortionate bar tabs. And it was so. And the criminals brought forth grasses, and the grasses yielded crime after its kind, whose crime is in itself upon the face of the premises. And for eight long years, so it was, as dust gathered slowly on the surfaces of the drunken, until the year of our Lord, 1992, when Ewan's wife left him and moved back in with her mother in Penrith. Enraged, the almighty creator found himself in sudden need of a replacement chef. One prepared to work six nights a week, cash in hand, for less than four pounds an hour. For every someone young and stupid, he could use as his personal punching bag. So it was that I came into this world. Soon after my arrival came the second transgression. Jim, the larger of the barmen, decided it was time to leave the pub behind him forever, along with about 200 pounds from the office safe. Ewan looked sadly upon the bar and grill and saw the vast expanse that Jim had left behind. Once again, he would have to return to the crumpled pile of resumes filed under the coffee machine. He would need a new enforcer, someone trustworthy, someone with a good sense of humour, and yet, someone who could kill you with one look if you stepped out of line. And then Ewan said, let there be Maggie. And there was Maggie. 